Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to a new Greylock video. There has been 10 tapes so far. This is the 10th one, and it's called Messages from the Dead. Now, I need to quickly remind myself about Greylock because sometimes I can forget with the amount of analog horrors that I watch and the amount of convoluted storylines there are with each analog uh, horror. It's easy to forget what's happened in the previous video. So I'm going to quickly go over the channel here and try and remind myself and you guys, maybe at home, what Greylock actually is. So Greylock is a analog horror series created by Rob Gavigan, who is a fantastic YouTuber. Uh, he was one of the first kind of YouTube content creators that got me into like the spooky, scary, mysterious stuff. Him and Mr. Ballin, like they're, they're, they're kind of, I don't know, they're my favorites when it comes to that kind of genre for sure. So from the first episode here, Greylock, this first episode was basically someone booting back on the old Greylock. I think Greylock was the code name for this project that was happening maybe. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Like I said, I, I can forget things pretty easily. But yeah, this episode is just uh, initially accessing the archives of Greylock. The second episode is like a found footage of a guy going up to the mountains. And I think there's some kind of like preacher sermon going on in the car radio. This might be the mountain uh, around the mountain area that we're going to discuss later and he found like loads of blood and stuff the third one goes into talking about thought forms which is what i guess greylock is completely based on thought forms are the belief that you can manifest something physically into the world just from your thoughts alone and i believe that they were using something some kind of machine to magnify amplify that kind of process <clears throat> and i think it worked a little bit too well <laughs> Yeah, it works a little bit too well because the next episode shows a load of people, like a load of homes were being broken into around this certain area. And there was an uh, like an emergency broadcast thing put out saying, stay inside your homes, don't let anyone in that you don't know, blah, 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 blah. And it was thought to believe that it was thought forms coming to attack this town or whatever. And then this episode here, tape five, I believe, showed a woman going in for an ultra uh, ultra scan of the ba her baby because she was pregnant but then something happened and the baby just disappeared completely and i think she went she ended up going insane maybe i don't know if she took her own life or if she got like committed into a hospital i can't remember that bit I'm sure you guys will tell me. This one here, tape six, there was these excavators or whatever. There was these people working in this mountain, digging out this tunnel, basically, or doing something. I don't know what they're doing. I think they were building up a new... They were digging around for a new facility or something. And then the guy who's in charge slowly starts seeing that things are going a little bit weird. He said that this tunnel that was clear, previously like completely blocked up and uh, unaccessible was completely cleared and then they started noticing that their food their lunch was going like like aging and eventually they would he they were just being sent insane i think and you learn why later on the next episode is like a news broadcast and you can tell it's like a cover-up from the new the you know the government are trying to cover up whatever the hell's happening in this mountain with this news report saying everything's good the break-ins that were happening before were just you know a domestic terrorist group or something like that but then whatever's in charge whatever's like out there is kind of interfering with the news network and saying that they're lying and that there's something else going on and that's when we get to tape eight which was basically a deeper insight of to what was happening inside that mountain that they, they discovered this ancient kind of thing inside this mountain there were like hieroglyphics i think and there were different uh weapons from different eras of history uh, and it said it's believed to be like this thing is the god of all gods or whatever just some kind of god because there's different walks of life like different mythologies or whatever like you got norse and all these other religions and stuff giving in sacrifices or offerings to this thing to maybe please it so that it doesn't come out and kill everyone or something like that then the last episode that we watched you can actually see one of these thought forms come to life. And I think there was this girl here. She said something about going into the doctors or something like that. But it's believed that she created this thought form. And this thought form actually attacked her. So no one's safe. And that leads us to episode 10 now. I think I described that pretty good. I'm sorry if, uh, you know, I, I should probably tell you guys to skip ahead. But this brings us on to episode 10, which is called Messages from the Dead. So I am looking forward to this. Let's just jump straight into this. Go subscribe to Greylock, guys. Go like the video. I'm liking it already because I know this is going to be fantastic. Probably one of my favorite analog horrors to date just because of the way it's laid out, the way it's done, the story, everything is very, very good. The voice acting, everything's phenomenal. So go and subscribe, all that good stuff. Here we go, guys, jumping straight into this. It's 20 minutes long, so I do apologize. 
Is this automatic? Right, I'm not going to put the captions on because automatic captions are the worst sometimes. Okay, so we're in some kind of forest. It looks like the episode two where that person was looking around the mountains maybe. Oh, so I forgot to mention also that something was released when they when when they were digging through the tunnel something was released into the wild basically and a load of the workers say that they saw this tall kind of lanky slender-esque creature roaming around and i think it was just sending people insane and also at the end of this one here tape eight you can see this thing mimicking something it breaks into someone's house it's mimicking um the sound of radio chatter and stuff which is fucking awesome because usually when you come across a mimic it's only mimicking people's sounds or the sound of the last thing someone said before they died but this thing's mimicking everything that it he hears which is really freaking like just something so disturbing about that it attacks this person at the end basically Okay. What is that? A rat? It's a fat rat. It's one of those New York rats. The rats in New York, apparently they're like small dogs. God dang! A big old rat! Yeah! Or unless it's just sleeping and it has no survival instincts. Just chilling. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, it's rigid. Oh, I guess rigor mortis. What are you doing, bro? Is this one of the... Because the, um, the home intrusion intruder video where people were breaking in was from the perspective of a home invader. So is this the same kind of thing? 1987, May 18th. Hey, babe. I'm just hey, babe. In. Could you please give me a call as soon as you can? Don't worry. Okay, so I think the person who's calling in here is calling in, calling the woman, I think, whose child disappeared in her womb. I think so, I'm not sure. It won't work either, please. You're way more important, okay? Okay. I love you. Aww. Bye. Is the guy checking in, you know? Um, hey, yep. Yeah. After we lost the baby... Um, there we go, okay, so I, I was right. Yeah, they say like losing a child can like make or break, usually breaks a relationship. I don't know, maybe I I, I obviously haven't gone through anything like that. God forbid I ha uh, I do, but I can imagine it's pretty hard on both both parties. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot what actually happened to her. There's a newspaper article that says what happened. It was different. No. Can I ask, why was there a video pointed at the answering machine anyway? What the hell? Was that a laugh or a cry? I sound like he was laughing. Tiffany, babe, I still haven't heard from you. Hope everything's okay. In 40 minutes, mate. busy doing something, but we've been talking every day since I've been back to work, so, you know, just, hmm. I'm getting a bit worried, so. Yeah. Please call me back, okay? Okay. Love you. I like that. So the fact that they keep coming back to this girl shows that she's a very important part of this whole storyline. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm gonna head home. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm kind of freaking out. Yeah. I'll be there soon. I love you. Oh, bless him. 
What the hell? That's a long ass password. G it was that a GTA cutscene. Do nah. Okay. So this is a day after. Oh, did she die? Oh, she did die. Hang on. 15th of May. So she di so she was dead three days before this guy, her boyfriend, was calling her. Oh, God. Five, six. Oh, actually, hang on. Was that five? Is that 15 or 18? I think it, that might be 18, actually. I think, yeah, it's got to be 18. Yeah. I'm being an idiot. Oh god. Initial external evaluation reveals uh. black substance What the hell happened to her? Neck and upper region. Samples have been obtained. Uh, additionally, the eyes are fully retracted. These observations are aside from any traditional indicators of struggle or violence as a cause of death. Oh. The legal and legal mortars align with the estimated time of death. Okay. Of particular note, and the reason for this specialist report okay. is an unusual finding on the abdomen, specifically below the sternum. Okay. A symbol of some sort has been carved into the flesh. Oh dear. Equally concerning is the absence of hemorrhaging in the surrounding tissues. Okay, so there's lack of... So there was what, no blood? Uh, was she drained of blood? Post-mortem, uh, of course. You don't bleed when you're dead, do you? Because the blood stops. Is that true? Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Or you don't bleed as much because the, the, the heart's not pumping the blood through. I would say the cuts will likely made several hours after death. Oh, God. <clears throat> well, photographs and casts have been made for further analysis. I'll be consulting with forensic anthropologists and symbology experts to better understand the nature Yeah, and I want to know what this is. What is it? What the exact cause of death is yet to be determined it is the carving that requires the initiation of an immediate and in-depth investigation. So she was killed, the right? Of the case should be treated with utmost priority due to its unusual and unnerving nature yeah okay tiffany we're recording okay so this was hang on all right give me a sec guys i just need to fi try and figure something out okay no this was afterwards okay this was 1994 so this wasn't tiffany so was tiffany part of the original experiments when it came to no because th that didn't start until okay no. hang on let's just play okay so, Tiffany, you just had your sixth birthday, didn't you? Okay. Yeah. Did you have a party? Yeah. How was it? Good. That's good. You're awfully quiet today. Why are you today? seeing them again? Thought forms? Yes. Right. What? How long has this experiment been going on for? I think I, that the answer is out there. I think it's in one of these past videos. Give me a sec. Let me just do some quick research. Oh, Unit geez. thirteen. Yeah. So this is where the the whole kind of manifesting thought forms comes, and that was. So they were doing this way before that as well. Can you see them right now? Interesting. Yes. Where are they? They, Tiffany. They're <laughs> everywhere. What a private lock for case file eight seven Okay, so this is the doctor. <clears throat> Back to the doctor again. For my home archives. The date is May 19, 1987. Okay. Time is 8.03 p.m. I conducted an examination of Miss Tiffany Crisaldi today. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, buddy arrived shortly before I was to leave the office for the day, but I decided to at least begin external examinations. Yeah. Man, you gotta give it to like morticianers and stuff, having to deal with like like the the worst like of dead bodies and having to kind of do like you know go through what's happened and determine the cause of wow well, the cause of death and stuff like that so she had flop really traumatic stuff This, this is getting to him. I wanted to refrain from mentioning this part whatsoever, but... What's happened? Give it to a stock. But I feel compelled to do so. Come on now. What is it? After placing this Chrysalvi in storage and moving on to cleaning up, my sister Sarah mentioned that she'd heard what sounded like... Uh-huh. ...a woman crying. From where? From the direction of the cooler. Oh. I shrugged off her remark and let her leave early. Yeah, she's obviously insane. Likely stressed or overtired. Yeah. And Go. I continued cleaning up. I just said, just listen. Don't say that scary shit to me. That sounds fucking terrifying. Get out. Get the fuck out. Who are you? No, I wouldn't do that, guys. I'm joking. I didn't dare to tell her that. She, he heard it too. Interesting. That's very nice of him. I oh, is it going to show? Okay, are you ready, Tiffany? I oh my god, so. this is honestly, uh, this is so well done. So well done. Now, like, listen, I, I love, like, the Mandela catalog and the Walton files and all, all that kind of stuff. They're obviously th things of their own nature, right? So you can't compare them. But I feel like this one this series deserves the same recognition as those two because it tells such a compelling story and it's done in such a way where it keeps you guessing what's going on it actually keeps you hooked and you don't realize how much time has passed whilst you're watching this is crazy yeah okay i'll need you to follow my instructions okay tiffany as long as you do that everything will be fine can you do that for me okay Good. I'm going to play some sounds that will help you through this exercise. Uh-huh. Oh, good lord. Just him. It's, it's a mixtape. It's him rapping for some reason. Yo! The meme's Dr. B! Close your eyes. It's not funny, Ryan. Keep them closed until I tell you to open them. Just as playing fat sounds. Why did you... Stop. I want you to picture yourself standing outside your house in your front yard. Yep. Okay. It's a beautiful day out with big fluffy clouds and a blue sky. No one mm. else is around. Okay, nice. Now look down at the grass around you and watch how each blade moves in a gentle breeze. Mm-hmm. Is this, is he doing some kind of, oh, I didn't just, it. is he doing some kind of like thought form experiment here? See your house, look around and see the trees around your yard. I've only got one tree in my Watch garden. Breeze well, not, not this, I, I don't have a front garden where I live, but back in my, my the family home. It passes through. Okay. Make the wind blow a little harder. Enough so the branches are swaying a little bit. Uh huh. Now you're all rustling with the leaves around you. Wind calms down now, and you begin walking very slowly towards the front door of your house. Step. 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 Okay, we get it. And with each step you take, it looks like the day is getting later and later. Soon the golden rays of the sunset are shining against your house. The front door is closer now, but you still have some more steps to go. Step. Step. 
Step. Step. How big is this garden? Now you're only three steps from the door. Okay. Step. Jesus. The sun vanishes behind the trees, going down. Step. It would have been over. In England, I very most most gardens aren't that big. The front gardens, anyway. So it would have been over within the first step. The, the first time he said the step sequence. You'd have, I would have been at my, I'd probably been at my front door in the kitchen at this point. In the sky above, and the moon shines its soft glow over everything around you. Interesting. Oh, okay. You arrive at the front door. It feels like one of those, um, sorry to keep pausing it guys, it feels like one of those kind of adventure, old adventure games from the 80s, where you kind of like, you know, go forward, ex you know, use item. Reach out your hand, turn the door knob, and My story's untold. Door. That game was mwah, brilliant. Your house looks like it always does at night time, except you're the only one here now. You take off your shoes. First the right shoe. Uh huh. Then the left shoe. I wonder what this is getting at. You can feel the floor against your feet. You can smell the familiar aroma of your house. Everything is in its proper place. Mm hmm. You are alone. Alone still? You're going to walk quietly to your bedroom now. You come to the stairs and begin to walk up. Don't you dare do step, step, step you again. Into the banister as you go, letting your hand slide up. Step. Bro, I'm, I'm... Step. Step. Sorry, what is this music in the background? It feels like it's getting gradually more weird. Step. Hang on, was the music like that to begin with? I don't even, I haven't even recognized that the music I'm might be doing something weird. Everything is in its proper place. You are alone. Nobody else is here with you. That's scary. Like, that's scaring me. The thought of that is terrifying. I don't know why. You look to the right and you can see your bedroom door closed at the end of the hall. Uh-huh. And you start walking nice and calmly towards it. You see the door coming closer with each step. You step. can see the pink flower stickers that you put on it two years ago. Damn, this guy knows everything. The sign that reads Tiffany with the little blue bird in the corner. Step. 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 You're at your bed. Bro, I'm hooked. <coughs> reach out your hand and grasp the doorknob and turn it. This feels like stories untold. And you can see that your room looks just like it did the last you saw it. Okay. You see the colorful quilt on your bed. You see your small white dresser with all the stickers and scuff marks, just like always. Uh-huh. The stuffed animals are all resting by your purple toy box. You feel comfortable. You feel safe. Okay. And you are alone. You need to stop saying that. Why does he keep emphasizing that? You notice that? He keeps emphasizing that she's alone. That's super weird. That's when you can see something different that's never been there before. Tell me what you see. It's... It's a door next to my window. Oh, okay. Right. It's a door. How does he know this? What does this? door look like, Tiffany? It, it looks black. It has weird marks on it. Looks weird. Okay. Walk to the door and open it. Oh, jeez. It doesn't matter if you're scared. You must open the door. No. Good job, Tiffany. Now tell me what's on the other side of the door. Oh, God, the music stops. It's a small room. Somebody's in there. Oh, who's in there? Tiffany, you're alone. No, there's no. someone in there. Woo! No. Oh god. I'm getting here. goosebumps. He's I'm actually getting goosebumps. Away from me. He's standing and tall. He's very tall. Tiffany, oh, you this... are alone. No, Nobody no, she's not. She's not alone, my bro. Tell me what else is in the room. A man. 
There's a TV. The screen is all fuzzy. And the tall man is watching it. Tiffany, I want you to focus on removing the man from your mind. When I snap my fingers, he will be gone. You will be alone. Okay, so that's why he was saying that over and over again. Because maybe he knew that she would see something. But how would he know this? Like, why, why does he know this? The man's shaking. His body is cracking. Okay, Tiffany, I'm going to count down from five. When I snap my fingers, you will return to the room. Oh, shit. Five. You're feeling more awake. He's now. turning around. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. The voice acting is phenomenal. You're sitting in again. Two. Everything around you fades to the blackness behind you. One. Full control of your body. Zero. We're awake to you. You're returning to now. Whoa! That was a face there. Hang on a sec. Ah. Oh. Oh, look, it's Tiffany going from... Oh, that's such a good, good little detail. Holy shit. That's so fucking cool. Oh, my God. Okay, we're back to the, the start again. Gun digest. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do we... I'm gonna cut the tail off. Oh, wait. Whoa, we don't want to see this. What's he doing? Giving it a haircut? Is it cutting its feet off? What the hell is happening? There's a tape inside? What the fuck? This rat was a smuggler. What's in the tape? Or are we not going to find out? We got, I mean, we still got like a minute and 15 seconds or so. Okay, so this is the same symbol that was carved into Tiffany's stomach. Okay. Is the symbol like of a splayed rat? So is the guy that is investigating this or whatever the same guy who accessed the archives at the very beginning? That Tiffany's body. Hey, Jesus! Oh, I don't like that. Oh my! All right, so Tiffany, is she like some kind of shell? Is she some kind of uh, what? What's the word? Um, a conduit almost for this thing because maybe she was really good at producing thought forms maybe she was the reason this this person exists in the f well no no that can't be it because it's been around for millennia i don't know guys but I, I tell you what this is my favorite analog horror series for the longest time like it just hits all of the things that i love in an analog horror it's got the the spooky kind of faces not like the over the top spooky faces but just subtle spooky faces the sound design's phenomenal the voice acting's phenomenal the overarching story is phenomenal this is phenomenal whoever is writing this and if it's rob and you know a handful of other people or if it's just rob you're doing an absolutely fantastic job at keeping me hooked onto this series and i imagine 
the viewers at home who are watching this who are reacting alongside with me or watching alongside with me think exactly the same thing keep up the amazing work i am really enjoying this and i will do everything i can just to push this channel because it really does deserve a lot more recognition that's for sure but there we go guys that was Greylock tape 10 uh, let me know what you think is happening. Who do, what, what do you think Tiffany, what's the part of Tiffany in all this? Is she a conduit for this demon thing? Or is there more to it? Are there more like Tiffany? And she's just one recorded person. You, you know, just let me know what you think down below. There we go, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed my reaction, why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.